Today we're going to look at the native script emoji plugin. So I have a new Angular based native script project here named native script dash emoji. And we're going to add that plugin to this project. We can do that by saying TNS plugin adds native script dash emoji. That will fetch the plugin and add this to our project. When that has finished, we can of course open this up inside of our editor. I'm going to be using the app component for this as we only really need one component to display this. So we'll start off by importing register element from native script dash angular slash element dash registry. This allows us to use a custom element inside of our template. We can then register this element by saying register element emoji and that element itself will be required from the native script dash emoji package. And then we have to hook into that emoji return. And here comes the magic. So I'm going to make it a stack panel. I'm also going to change the name of the title of this application to emoji. And then we can add our custom elements to the stack panel. So we'd have an emoji with the name and the name will be the name of the emoji that you want to show. So for example, we have joy. Let's do another one. This time we'll do poop, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> Next, we can have something like a rocket because joy, poop and rocket is a good weekend, I think. And finally, we can end it with something like maybe a speedboat. So if we've done everything correctly, we should have four different emojis on screen. Let's run this on the device and see what we get. So we can run TNS run and I'm going to run it on iOS. So it launches on the device and of course it doesn't work. And that's because I've called this a stack panel instead of a stack layout. Blatantly been doing too much fuse. But if we save this, we should now have the emojis on screen. Let's check it out. And there we have it. We have our four emojis. We have happy, we've got poop, we've got rocker, and we have a speedboat. I'm sure you can think of so many uses for this plugin. And of course, don't forget to let me know how you're using it in your projects in the comment section below. And until next time, hit that subscribe button to stay updated. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.